are so many dangerous chemicals placed in tracking food. Um, look at look at all some of this stuff. It's it, hydrochloric acid, you know, citric acid, bauxite, some of the arsenic, arsenic, benzene, formaldehyde, lead, and mercury. Why? There's no need to put that in tracking food, but it's it's put there, and I have a theory on that. I can talk about that at Q and A if you want. Next. Okay, um, in this basin, the Manka Shale is often in contact with or perilously close to the drinking water aquifer. Okay, the, the blue area, you can see it up there a little bit better, but the blue area, that's the base of the aquifer. It's faulted down the base of the aquifer. In some places, you can see that the Manka Shale, which is what they're going to frack, it's the organic shale, right? They're going to frack that and too often, it's in contact, direct contact with the water aquifer. Yes. Oh, hello, Mike. Uh, this is Laura, environmental educator. I apologize for my ignorance. Help me understand. So, it's the shale is where they're getting the natural gas from. Is that why they're fracking it? Why? Why is it the sh is it the shale the, level that has yeah, the, the fuel that we're That's an looking excellent for? question. I should have already mentioned that. No, sorry. I, I, I take just... a lot of stuff for granted, but it, it's, you're, it's a good question. Um, they go after the shales because they're organic rich. And most of these shales across the world where they're fracking now, these are the, Can't source, hear. These are the source rocks for oil and gas in these basins. Okay, so they are the source they're rocks. They're the source rocks. Okay, so, so they used to drill uh, conventionally in all of these um, in basins and for these different formations. And then when they got the technology, they just said, well, why don't we just go into the source rock and drill horizontally and blast it? And bring it all okay. back out. Okay. That's why they go after the shales. Got it. Okay. Next, please. Okay. This slide is just a, a little bit bigger slide, and it shows that if you if you uh, if they drill down into the Manco shale and they cut horizontally across, and then they frack it, and they're anywhere near a contact, they're anywhere near a contact with with the uh, the reservoir. Yeah, we have a little bit of a technical difficulty here with our. Well, we'll come back to this, but, but the point is that if if there they frack is. anywhere near uh, a fault in contact with the reservoir, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to say they're going to pollute the reservoir, right? The other thing is that they're, they're going to be encountering these faults, which are everywhere, which are conduits themselves, right? Next, please. That was quick, John. That was that's a quick fix. Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Okay. okay. Th Thank you. This this slide. Um, remember, I told you that um, the, the Rio Grande Rift is active, and what that means is it's still pulling apart, which means an, an active seismic basin means it's prone to earthquakes. This is a map that was uh, done. Uh, quite a few years ago, it's out of date, but it shows uh, from New Mexico Tech all of the earthquakes in New Mexico. Uh, and if they updated this map, you would see many more earthquakes up in the San Juan Basin and in the Permian Basin caused by fracking. And a good point to note it is in the United States Geological Survey said for New Mexico, the area that is home to more earthquakes than any other region is the Rio Grande Valley between Socorro and Albuquerque. And we're standing right in the middle of that zone. It's all, we're standing right in the middle of that zone that's prone to earthquakes. So, so this is the chair. So just a question so I understand. The area is prone, and I also understood that there are tremors, not necessarily the big earthquake that you tend to think about, you know, in other places that happen. And, but but we're a, it's a very fluid area and prone to, right. to bigger earthquakes other than the, the seismic In fact, it says, we're experiencing. Uh, it, um, in, at New Mexico Tech, one of the papers in 2009, because of the large number of active faults in the Rio Grande Rift, the probability of a future large earthquake uh -huh. in the rift is significant. Yeah, that's what I was trying to get at. Okay. okay. Now, when I was talking to one of the um, commissioners, he actually said, well, yeah, I felt earthquakes over by my house. Said, well, yeah. You know, it's because you're in the middle of the Rio Grande Rift. 
Okay, it's already prone to earthquakes. Uh, next, please. All right. Upper left is a cross section of the San Juan Basin. It's a bowl, right? Not a lot of faults in it. Upper right is a cross section of the Delaware or Permian Basin. Not a lot of faults, right? This is the Anadarko Basin in Oklahoma. Same thing. Looks just like the San Juan Basin, right? And yet, when they frack in, in Oklahoma, they're having, getting thousands of earthquakes. And these are two pictures of earthquake damage of infrastructure in Oklahoma. And here's a shot of, of uh, one in uh, southwestern New Mexico, down the Permian Basin. These are happening where they're fracking in areas that are relatively stable basins that are not prone to earthquakes. Right? Next, please. Okay, remember I told you they, got, they get rid of these disposal wells, they drill these disposal wells, and if they happen to get anywhere near a fault, the fluids go in there, and faults that haven't been active in millions of years tend to move and cause earthquakes in Oklahoma. Okay? It's water all its wings. <laughs> Imagine what happens if they do earthquake, I mean, they do disposal wells here. I said in the meeting the other day, it's 100% it's chance they're going to get an earthquake if they're allowed to do that. Next, please. Um, I wanted to put something in here more specific to you all because, um, because the area, there's, there was a study done, and I'll show you that in just a second, just south of here. But there's been new studies shown that, that, that these fractures conduct... Uh, uh, water all the way up from the basement to the water aquifers, okay? And some of these, some of these, uh, like in this study in Rio Rancho was done, they bring up radioactive material that is really, really dangerous. Um, next, next, please. Where, where is that coming That's from the, again? The from the basement. From down? It's from the basement. Background, yeah. Okay. It's from the basement, when Rio Rancho was doing uh, their big water study to put in that new uh, big uh, complex, housing complex on the western side. Uh, they did the big water thing, and, and this is some of the things that they got, which they kept hidden oh. from the public. Okay. Um, now, there was, now, we know that there have been studies done in Placidus um, that showed the same thing, and then there's a recent study done just south of you that shows exactly the same thing. So all the way from the north part of the basin to the center of the basin to all the way down here, actually south of you, the Sedietta Wildlife Refuge, you have these fluids that are coming all the way up from the basement. And why that's so important is, is because these, these faults are not annealed. They're not filled like they are in other basins. And this is what the oil and gas companies will tell you, that, oh, they're all filled. They're annealed. No, they're not. Not here. Next, please. <coughs> okay, so what are the two major risks of fracking in the Rio Grande Valley? I think earthquakes are the biggest risk right now. And contamination of the drinking water aquifer is another extreme risk. And the, the, there are so many studies done of the, of the Rio Grande aquifer that show that this is a continuous aquifer, basically all the way up in Cochiti Lake, all the way down to Berlin, where we're standing right now. And one of the reasons we fought so hard against them fracking in Sandoval County, because it would have affected the whole base, we finally convinced the commissioners of that, and they voted it down. Okay. If they're allowed to frack <coughs> in Las Lunas, on the, and they'll be on the uh, eastern edge, so they can catch the faults in the Manco Shale, because it's too deep in the center of the basin, that's going to directly impact you. First, what it's going to do is it's going to cause earthquakes where they're fracking, and then they're going to screw up the water reservoir, and you're only what, what did you say, Andrew, 70 feet, 40 feet? You drilled these wells out here? Right near the river. I mean, our, our production line. Was... What, what's going to happen to, to your wildlife area if you've got all salt water coming down there? Or gas? Or, you know, or, you know, I mean, it's, it's, this is a very real thing. 
That's why I'm here. You, you know, because it's so important for everybody to realize this. Um, the worst, you know, somebody told me, you know, one of my friends told me, well, just let them frack, and then they'll realize what it is. I said, no, we can't let them frack. We've got to do everything to stop them. And that's, that's where you all come in, okay?